Hello my dear YouTube watchers, I welcome you back at my YouTube channel and today, as you may have guessed, I'm going to talk about my purchases made at Louis Vuitton. And to be more precisely, I'm going to talk about my two last purchases, which is a bag, a Louis Vuitton bag, and uh, second of all, it's um, my Louis Vuitton glasses, sunglasses. Basically, the story behind the Louis Vuitton bag is really, really interesting. Also, you are going to receive lots of nice uh, advices about this bag if you're also thinking uh, to purchase it. Well, and uh, what concerns the sunglasses, I think this, these are the best sunglasses ever. I'm gonna demonstrate them to you in a bit so that you can have a look and decide whether you'd like to have the same one or not. So to start with, I'm going to talk about these beautiful sunglasses that I have purchased this summer. They are called La Grande Belleza. And I'm going to put them on so that you can see how they look like uh, on the face. They've got um, an oversized frame, as you can see, which is uh, really trendy right now and really, really um, nice to wear because uh, that way you get less sun, uh, sun rays in your eyes, basically. Uh, they've got the sun filter number two, yeah, so it's not the maximum, which is three. Um, but it actually protects quite good and uh, it doesn't disturb. I mean, even if I look at the sun, at the bright sun, um, I think it's quite enough. So uh, what else shall I say about them? They have uh, this degradé, as they say in French, which means they are darker on the top and they get lighter and lighter below. So basically that doesn't make them look very, very uh, chunky as they, as they actually are. And uh, there is uh, some kind of mystery behind, I always think, when, when you've got lenses like that. Uh, on the back you can see they are pretty thin and you've got like a little logo, a Louis Vuitton uh, logo written on them and um, on the overall I have to say they're really comfortable sunglasses, they are absolutely uh, an eye catcher, I've been told already by many people just on the street by many people who, who don't know me, who I don't know, so that they look beautiful. Well, I um, think um, they do actually and I feel really comfortable um, when I wear them and trendy as well. So um, just consider um, this sunglasses when, when you're thinking of buying a new pair. As you may have probably guessed, I'm going to talk about this uh, wonderful bag, uh, Neo Noé, which was introduced in 2000, reintroduced in 2014 by Marc Jacobs, who uh, was the director of uh, uh, Louis Vuitton at that time, and who was going, and who before he left the house, wanted to make a final statement. Um, in, uh, in his career and uh, basically he created, created this wonderful bag. However, the, um, the first prototype of this bag was created in 1932 by Gaston uh, Louis Vuitton. Uh, he was the grandson of the uh, creator of Louis Vuitton. And this bag was created by the order of um, a champagne maker, producer, uh, who wanted trans to transport bottles of champagne in a, in a beautiful package. So can you believe a prototype of this wonderful bag was created for carrying, for carrying uh, bottles of champagne? This is unbelievable. So in the initial Noir bag, you could fit five bottles of champagne, basically four bottles um, like they would stand normally, and the fifth one would go inside between the four um, upside down. <laughs> so this is a really funny uh, story, but the true story about this bag, which we carry now, and it is still a very, very uh, trendy design. But however, you should know that um, the prototype was created in 1932. It's crazy. So this bag is made of epi leather. This is uh, like um, a legendary uh, Louis Vuitton created uh, type of leather. 
it is real leather, it's calf, it's made of calf skin. So basically a young cow, which is three years old maximum. And uh, this is like a pressed leather, so it's um, the leather gets stamped by a pattern uh, that resembles like waves, horizontal waves. And this is a very recognizable pattern. And in the end, it is covered with a special covering that makes this bag water resistant. So basically, um, it is literally water resistant bag. Uh, it, it doesn't attract water, basically it stays on the surface. And um, also this uh, final finishing gives uh, the bag this beautiful shine. And uh, basically the vision that got two different shades. One, one is darker and the other one is lighter. So this final uh, coating allows the bag to stay uh, scratch free from a long time. And also the corners of the bag stay like new, I don't know, for years and years to come. You can see it's a, it's quite a plain uh, bag with a, with a little monogram on the left hand side of Louis Vuitton. So um, basically, the good thing about it, it doesn't really attract uh, uh, somebody's attention by like really uh, loud monograms on it or like color colors or brightness. It's it's really it's a sleek, wonderful, nice bag. As I've already mentioned, I purchased this bag in black color, but uh, the same bag also exists in uh, three other different colors, like pink, like kind of pinkish, uh, blue, navy blue, and red. So um, there are several ways how you can wear this bag. First of all, there is this handle, which is detachable. So um, you can wear it um, either on your arm or you can wear it in your hand actually, which is also very, very handy. Uh, second of all, there is uh, the strap. Um, basically, that's how I like to wear this bag. Uh, with this with the strap short so i think it's really nice because it's very handy when you want to take uh, something out of your bag so this is like really optimal length for me on the other hand this this strap is adjustable so you can actually make it longer it, it is really easy you can make it longer you can fix it here and you can wear this bag crossbody. I don't usually wear it like that, but uh, if you want, you can. I mean, it's, uh, it also looks nice and uh, fashionable, but um, sometimes I actually do it when I have to keep my both hands free. So, so this is very, very handy, I think. And that's how uh, this wonderful bag looks uh, inside. Um, I think it's very important to know that it is quite comfortable to wear a couple of things inside of it. You can easily fit your uh, mobile phone, your keys and uh, your wallet without thinking if there's going to be enough space. So basically, when you look inside, you can see three departments, so in front, behind and in the middle. In the middle you can see a little pocket which you can zip and uh, me personally I use it to for putting inside keys or some kind of batches something that you have to pull out very quickly so it's a nice bag I really like um, the size of it it's not too big but it's big enough to carry all your daily necessities without uh, feeling overloaded So guys, that is really it for today. I hope you like this video. Um, basically, the, the goal of making uh, of me making videos and the goal of the whole YouTube channel is basically to inform you guys about the purchases I've made, to tell them about their pros and cons, and basically help you in case you uh, would like to purchase something like that, you to think it over before you buy it and um, to decide better. Okay, so I hope guys to see you next time on my channel uh, please do subscribe on my channel 
I'll put the thumb up and, uh, and also visit my Instagram page. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.